I want you to understand that you have access to all the information that's gonna take you to $10,000 a month. I want you to realize that the reason that you haven't been successful yet is because you keep approaching life with this weak ass, low vibration energy, and every single person that you talk to is like, why would I buy a fitness program out for you? You sound like you're worse off than me. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brian Mark coming at you with another episode on this channel, and in today's episode, I'm in with one of my mastermind students, Haley Vera. Hello. We're gonna do some quads. Well, I'm gonna do partial quads and then I'm gonna go smash my legs. And we're gonna start the day. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Let's go. Why you looking the other way? Look at my face. Look at my posse. Look at the game. Don't be dismayed. I thought you said you had something to say. Keep that same energy. This ain't the energy. Subscribe. We playing when we was away. Now we just taking our place. You thought we was playing, but no, we ain't playing. It reminds me of like a little mighty mouse. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Supernovas, we taking everything you owe us. The win for us is just a bonus. So take a seat if you below. Only if you know it. Yeah, we in the winning circle, and we know it really hurts you. We've been here before, so bring the applause. How's your workout? It was good. I just like do do a little circuit on Wednesdays. Ah. When something happens to you that is unexpected and it's adversity and it hits hard. I brought a chair because you know what you guys do when life gets fucking hard is you sit the fuck down and you just let life pass you by. Fuck that. I want you to rise champion. I want you to understand that you have access to all the information that's gonna take you to $10,000 a month. I want you to realize that the reason that you haven't been successful yet is because you keep approaching life with this weak ass, low vibration energy, and every single person that you talk to is like, why would I buy a fitness program out for you? You sound like you're worse off than me. I need you guys to do me a favor, all right? I need everybody to stand the fuck up. I want everyone at the top of your lungs, if you're in your house wake every family member up I'm the motherfucking one it's me I'm that guy I'm that guy that came from nothing I'm that guy that lives in this fucking house I'm that guy that achieves every single goal I set for myself I'm the motherfucking one get these fucking motherfuckers fired up ah! you don't know me Brian fucking Mark you about to know. 9.14 in the morning. I'm gonna get to work right now. I've got a training in a coaching group tomorrow and I'm gonna be talking about how to grow on TikTok. So I've already got a TikTok kind of presentation put together but I wanna over deliver so I'm gonna go into the presentation and beef it up and make it even better. So let's get it. Cool moods. One of them is like bah and one of them is like chill. And when I'm chill, I'm like soft as baby sh So I'm listening to Lord Huron, The Night We Met. It's, uh, the, it's a song off Stranger Things and it's amazing. So I'm gonna, you know. So this is a master class that I'm gonna be doing with my man AJ Morton. How I got 280 leads in one month, it's called the TikTok Masterclass. If you guys wanna take a look, I literally just put this uh, presentation together in the next last 20 minutes. And I'm gonna over deliver and teach people exactly what to do on TikTok. So I'm delivering this tomorrow, I'm super excited. And now I'm gonna head over to Cole's house and me and him are gonna do pod chats in his office. Yeah, this is a cool first step. This hey. is obviously a step in the right direction. So guys, get this in the vlog. How's everything look right now with right where it is? Um, I think you can zoom in, bro. I'll go to Bring the camera close. Dude, this is that. This is cool. See. Guys, when we uh, first got this house, I had a vision for my office because we've been doing podcasting for ever now. Literally like video, doing live streams and different videos, etc. And one thing that I've noticed, the more Brian and myself produce content online is that we get bored in the same area often. Um, but it's usually because like, it doesn't inspire us, it doesn't motivate us. So when we got this house, I was like, I want a place that stands the f out. When you see it, you're like, oh, that's, that's Cole's office, that's the Wolf's office. Because right now, guys, when it comes down to self-sabotage, usually the reason why people self-sabotage is because they're scared of the outcome that they're facing. Second to f***ing anybody, period. And if we see you doing better than us, you better f***ing believe that we're about to f***ing figure out how to pass you. That's just how it is. I'm a f***ing winner. No, no, you're in the front, no. That. You're, You're in the forest. forest. Stand up. You can go way louder than that. Stand up. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You gotta feel the shit in your 
fucking body. I can't. I At the top of your lungs, as loud as you can, louder than you've ever screamed in your fucking life. I'm gonna say it, then you're gonna say it. I'm a fucking winner! I'm a fucking winner! Yeah! <laughs> Guys, it's very important. You gotta speak this shit into existence. Speak of the Pizza Domination All Access Experience. Yup. He was like, when I met you guys, he's like, I went to Bejo's afterwards, and he's like, man, if it was a few years ago, you know, I would have invited those guys out for, you know, a workout and then a post-workout meal. He's like, you were the two people that stood out to me the most. Then he went and spoke to his wife about us, too. Like, what the f***? Guys, we're just regular dudes <laughs> that just decided to be irregular. Yeah. We decided to be an anomaly. We decided to be audacious enough to go after the that we want. I was working at nightclubs, I'd get my pay from the nightclub, like I'd get my $400 or whatever, I'd go directly to my drug dealer's house, I'd pick up more drugs and I would do them. Yeah. Like that was that was who I was. She was waiting for me and I'd been out all night, so I saw her and I just burst into tears because I was like, holy fuck. You know, and I remember collapsing on the couch and I was just crying and she didn't even ask me what was wrong. She didn't like ask me like, like what had happened. She just went to her room, she grabbed the Bible, she like held my hand and then she cried with me as she was like reading the Bible. She didn't even ask what, ask me what was wrong. The only thing that made me keep going was I was like, my grandma loves me and she sees me as this like amazing man. So I'm gonna dedicate overcoming this addiction to her. It's such an internal feeling. It's hard to even put into words. Like it's just a, it's a weird and soul change. Are you going to be your own worst enemy or are you gonna be your own best friend? All right, guys, so just finished up the... I need to stop saying all right, guys. All right, guys, all right, guys, all right, guys. Just finished up the podcast. Um, and now I'm going to go back to my casa. Natasha and I are going to do some brainstorming and work on some mastermind shit. Let's go. Inconsistent lead flow is by far one of the biggest struggles of the mastermind. So why do people have inconsistent lead flow? Mm, their marketing is off. They lack visibility slash attention on social media, their offer isn't that good. Like their, their delivery isn't that good. I would say inconsistency. And if the accounts are growing, the quality of leads is low. You need more qualified leads. So like ideal client, people who are like hyper relevant mm -hmm. to their niche. The reason you'd have inconsistent lead flows is because your marketing is off. It's not good. When I'm thinking about this perspective, I'm trying to think about this perspective and like, they should already have a base level understanding. Like we shouldn't have to say like close five times a week. So we're doing, I, th I feel like we should do this under the assumption that they're doing this. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, if we have to tell you to post five times a week, you deserve to be in the academy. Yeah. Right? So this, what we're talking about here is like operating under the premise that they're already doing that. And if they're not doing that, then like, you're gonna get a slap on the wrist, bad boy. Uh, so 40C magnetic giveaway, TikTok uh, ebook to sales call, which we don't really do a lot of. Yeah, and then getting their VAs to do like the manual grunt work of adding people on Facebook, Instagram, and doing engagement. Here's the problem. Most people, I think, just like as soon as they start getting their VAs to do the grunt work, and I've, I've done this too. It's like, okay, my VAs are doing everything. I don't have to do anything anymore. Yeah. And then if they're not getting leads, they're like, well, my VAs are fucking pulling leads. Sure. You know what I think would slick? I'm just gonna come right yeah. out and say it. TikTok. You, TikTok and Reels is where it's at. It gains the most amount of traction, the most amount of lead flow on all these platforms yeah. across the board. Yeah. Your marketing is clear. It's hyper relevant. We're attracting the right client. You get like three to five TikToks and you fucking throw 500 bucks a month behind a TikTok ad. Yeah. People are leaving the mastermind because they feel like they don't have systems to sustainably and consistently grow their business. But part of that is that they can't even afford the system to put people in the right places because they don't have steady leads. Get a one-on-one -on -one call with us for 30 minutes a month or whatever. Yeah. And we meet with you twice a year, kind of, just like videos. Oh, that's cool. We got our shirts. That's cool. Like it. Yeah. And we would do, hey babe, auntie side chick husbands. Oh my God, who got you that? Who got you that? This is my husband, look at his shirt. Auntie side chick husbands club. I love it. Who got it for you? We saw it at the event. You what? We sat at the event and like there was a guy that was there and we met him. Hi, I'm this Brian. This is my new therapist. But there was a guy therapist. that we met at the event and he was like, 
He's like, I feel like the culture of men is like, oh, it's like so cool to be like, you know, have a bunch of girls. He's like, fuck that. He's like, I think it's cool to be like a loyal man. He's like, so he was wearing the shirt. I was like, I want one. And me and Cole got one. That's cool. Yeah, Can you wear it every day? Can I take a picture of it? Can we get a picture together yeah. with it? Yes. Every person in our circle that crushes it is a character. What do you mean? Uh, Janelle is a character. Janelle is somebody who was 700 pounds. She lost the weight. She is a character yeah. online. She's like, yeah. uh, Trent Harrison is a yeah. character yeah. online. Uh, Mav is a character yes, yes. online. Cursed is a character online. Yes. You are a character online. Yeah. I am a character online. Yeah. Cole is a character Definitely online. Definitely a character online. Authentic, Authentic, unique. The story makes you feel something. You're out of the box. Like, your look, your look or your energy is like anomaly. It's mm. uncommon. Mm. Mm. The reason I crush online is because I'm spraying money guns around wearing fur coats. <laughs> Which I still think is funny. It's a character. Yeah. So for my little beta test, we need to have new combos from last month. We need to have um, applications from last month. And then we need to have uh, total cash, total new cash. Mm -hmm. Retention, but you struggle with retention because you're not getting results. So I do think there's a couple things. One, I think there should be quick wins. Talking about how to fix delivery. Your clients need to get wins within the next first two weeks, man. People are fucking impatient. Yeah, not even two weeks. I think that like, I think that we need to quantify and gamify, gamify wins. Mm -hmm. First, we generate the result, we get them to sell the result back to us that the exercise worked, and then we say, mm. Mm. now you need to do this. Mm. And they will do it because they experienced it themselves. With <laughs> uh, lighter. What else would you need to burn? Because you can't just set things on fire. You'd have to shove the lighter in a fucking, but they'd have to have, it'd have to be something that was like in the house. A bowl of water, a lighter, a bowl of water, and a piece of paper. And then they just light it on fire over the bowl of water. <laughs> Dude, this is cool. This is a 10 out of 10 good time right now. This is very good. So this is my story, all right? So when I was younger, I was overweight, and then I lost all the weight, and then girls started to pay attention to me. But I didn't know what to do with it because I never talked to girls before because up to that point, nobody ever talked to me, so I'm getting all this attention. And then I would just fall, just, just like, I just kept fucking it up. So finally, I was like, I need to figure this out. So I went online and I bought a course from David D'Angelo, How to Pick Up Women, that's what it was called. And it was like a nine DVD set. And so one of the things that I learned from that book is that um, to do things that cause you to be memorable. And so uh, he would say, he's like, when you go on a date with a girl, he's like, it's your first date, tell them to bring a flashlight. And, and when they're like, why don't you bring a flashlight? You're like, don't worry about it, but it's super important that you bring a flashlight. It's extremely important, bring a flashlight. So then they're thinking like, what the fuck, why are we gonna finish that, what the fuck? And they bring this flashlight, and then when they show up with a the flashlight, they're like, what's this for? And then you're like, you never know when there's gonna be a power outage. Mm -hmm. right? so, <laughs> so, so, but that thing, they'll always remember you. Yeah. So this is like the flashlight. It's like, mm -hmm. show up with a fucking bowl of water, a fucking lighter, a piece of paper, and a pen. Mm -hmm. It's fucking important. Don't miss it. I'll see yeah. you soon. And then they're like, what the fuck? Like, Ooh. Right? Right? I like this. Failure, I'm like, why the fuck am I paying this person? Why not celebrate activities? Okay. Because activities produce outcomes. Oh. The system should be set up on the back end for these coaches to be able to onboard somebody and get them into momentum within 48 hours. Pay the money, I get onboarded immediately, and within 24, 48 hours, I'm already going to the grocery store. I feel like in the mindset month now, we're changing it so that they're making more money. So that we're gonna solve the problem of like, I made less month because I was focusing on my mindset. We're focusing on making more money. So when they get into the mastermind, what is the first thing they should learn? Would it be sell my chat? So that they can save themselves time on calls? Would it be delivery to make sure that the program's actually good that they're selling? Would it be a VA to help them out with their leads so they don't spend time in their DMs? Would it be a, a coach to assist them with the client delivery? community manager to assist them with the delivery. I don't, I almost, like in my brain, and then I'll let you word vomit, is I almost think that it shouldn't necessarily be a coach or trainer, I shall a coach, community manager, or a VA, because all of those thing, three things require output of income, and I don't know if that would be the first thing that I would teach in the mastermind. 
because there might be resistance to hiring more people if they're, I don't know, what, what are your thoughts? I think delivery has to be first because everything that we teach builds on delivery. So maybe that's not the first month after hiring a trainer as shadow coach, yeah. but you make a boatload of money in mindset month, you make a ton of money, you get you into momentum. Uh, overwhelm from client delivery, overwhelm from client check-ins. Because the truth is, is regardless if they're making more money, um, their current systems will not support them looking after 80 clients one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. So I think they should come into the mindset group and the first thing that should be done is like delivery. What is your check-in process? I think the CEO mindset needs to be killed and I think they need to come from a place that they're building a team. Cool. Because a lot of them are like, I'm supposed to be the CEO. And it's like, you don't, that's so fucking dumb. Like. Yeah you're gonna grind for at least the next one to two years training your team. And I think that identity sets them up for failure. I, I would want like a 10 minute video on exactly how it's done and then that's done. And then the next person we could bring on, I think Don Lamb does bi-weekly check-ins. Okay, cool, tell us how you do bi-weekly check-ins. How does it work? How do you structure it? How do you make sure that you, you're not spending hours and hours and hours? And then when somebody comes into the group, it's like, okay, we're gonna take what you did in the academy and we're gonna make it scalable because what you currently have isn't scalable. So you can choose one of these three options, whichever one resonates with you the most. Yeah, I think every training should have um, purpose, steps, definition of job completed. Okay. Group coaching calls. What is the purpose of this group coaching call? Yeah. If you implemented it, here's all the steps of how you run it. This yeah. is a definition of the job being completed. Okay. And then we pair that with SOPs and the training. Yeah. Holy fuck, if we build that, it's gonna take us time. Yeah. But like, as building it, the mastermind is gonna be so like, hands off outside of celebrating wins. Yeah, 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 that's the goal. In Mindset Month, like our goal is to build a tribe in the mastermind. It's like, I don't want you to have a Facebook community, we want you to have a tribe. And so who do and how do you serve, is this, which is the training in Mindset Month, is gonna set them up for this. Because mm -hmm. it's like, we need to do an alley-oop. Because if somebody's gonna do, build their offer in Mindset Month, we need to preface that with like, hey, by the way, we're gonna be teaching you about tribe. So this is really important because whatever identity or program or offer that you're selling, yeah. we're gonna build a tribe around that. On the 14th of the month, if you've made under 5K so far this month, show up to the call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, that's a cool idea, crisis call? Yeah, so it's a crisis call. So if you if you get to day 14 of the month and you've made under 5K, show the fuck up. Yeah. And then I was like, what's yeah. up, what's up? Let's take a look. What are you doing? That's, that's a fucking cool idea. Yeah. Okay, so Janelle's crisis coach. Also, put customer service. For you? Slay at customer service. Okay. I'm always the one telling people how to fire their clients. We should do a training on customer service. I was just thinking about that as you said it. Leadership, mindset, DM, sub by chat, and marketing. Patty's well rounded, he can help out with anything. And this training needs to be updated for shadow coaches that you don't hire somebody who can't do the fucking role. Mm -hmm. Like they okay. are certified, yeah. they're capable. Yeah. No more, this is like an all star client. And trash. My brain is starting to tap out. So me too. Yeah, so good. I'm glad we're on the same page. So I think that this is a good start. So I'm gonna take all of this information and I'm gonna put it into a document, and then we'll start there. We blowing up like supernovas. We taking everything you owe us. The win for us is just a bonus. So take a seat if you below. Only if you know it. Yeah, we in the winning circle, and we know it really irks you. We've been here before, so bring the applause. We don't need no rehearsal. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of today's YouTube episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys got some value. The number one piece of actionable advice that I'm gonna give you guys is that sometimes you need to take a step back in order to take a step forward. For us, what that means is like we're really taking some time to like build the systems inside of the gym and, and define what each individual's roles is inside the gym, um, which means that there's a little bit of like a less focus on marketing and more focus on like making sure that everybody in the gym is you know operating to the maximum capacity so that we can serve our members to the best of our abilities and we can grow the gym the way that we want to. So that's it, that's all. Hope you guys have the best day of your entire life. Chase your dreams, let's go.